Well, as we continue to keep the coronavirus pandemic top of mind, local officials are also calling our attention to what some refer to as an epidemic hidden in a pandemic. Opioid use in Michigan has surged with COVID-19. Young adults and teens are particularly vulnerable. 13 on your side's Angela Cunningham joins us live with a closer look at the problem and what can be done about it. Angela, good morning. Good morning, Meredith. Yes, the statistics released through the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services are sobering. Statewide, the number of opioid overdoses jumped 33% in just one month during this pandemic. Now the state tracked those numbers through EMS calls and emergency room visits between April and May during the height of the pandemic. The numbers are also up 26% for April through June of this year compared to last year. Healthcare and mental health advocates say they saw this coming and now their worst fears are being realized. We're under tremendous stress and strain and we don't have our normal ways to reach out for support for help or even to burn off steam um, and i think all of those are, are kind of bubbling up and you know that we're going on what five months it's a it's a very long time the data show opioid overdoses are up throughout michigan and for all age groups except people over 65 However, experts, including those at the CDC, say teens and young adults are extremely vulnerable to high risk substance use and abuse. Talk Sooner, a multi-county coalition here in West Michigan, wants to remind parents that it is never too early to talk to kids about the dangers of drug use. You can work on making sure that you are that trusted source of information and support for your kids from birth to really young adult. Um, you can make sure that you have the facts about something like opioid use or marijuana or vaping. No, you're not gonna talk to a four-year-old about opioids, but you can talk about making healthy choices and, and how we work to make sure our bodies are healthy and our minds are healthy. No, Kavanaugh says, use all of the teachable moments life is throwing at us right now to help broach those difficult conversations with your kids. And remember, the Talk Sooner website and app has tons of tips to help guide parents. James.